Hey, it's Timo here from Equipto, and I'm going to show you guys how to do a two-way split conversion on a K4 or K5 keystrap scalper. All right, first step is to make sure we lift the screen box up to maintenance mode. Make sure the pins are removed before lifting the screen box. Before you start any of the removal of the conveyor, make sure that the tail drum is in the lowered position. Before removing any of the hydraulics, make sure that we have it in the folded out position and a turnbuckle installed. Next step is to remove all the quick couplers that go to the right side conveyor. So you have these two for folding, these two for folding, and the two main hydraulic lines for the motor. Some options have a dust suppression line, which you will need a 19mm spanner to take off just inside here. Before we put our lifting chains on, um, we set two chains shorter than the other two at 880 millimeters in length, and therefore we can pull the conveyor out perfectly straight. So these short chains need to go onto these two hooks here and the long chains onto these hooks here on either side. We'll take the weight of the belt and then we'll go around the other side and loosen the fastening so that we can pull the belt out. All we need to do is remove these two bolts here and then we can slide the conveyor out with the digger or crane. Now the digger or crane operator can slowly remove the conveyor out, as shown. Oh. I got it. Uh, the next step is to fit the back plate onto the back of the main conveyor. Once the back plate has been installed, then we need to start the engine and engage the hydraulics. Remove these pins, place them at the bottom on both sides. If you have a lowerable conveyor, main conveyor, make sure it's all the way in the up position. Once you've got the conveyor all the way up, then we use these rams to slide the conveyor in to replace the conveyor that we've just pulled out using this lever here. Once we've got the conveyor slid all the way in, then we need to install the wings. Once the wings are installed, then we can lower the complete, the complete screen box down to its normal working position.
Once you've got the machine in working position again, then we need to disable the right side conveyor function on the screen. Come to the main page, hold the RSC button down for about 10 seconds. And then while you're still holding it down, select the off button and let go. Now you can see the picture, the right side conveyor is now gone and now you are ready to operate in a two-way split. So this is how you do a two-way split conversion on a K4 or K5 keystroke scalper.